You can you can sit behind me. You sure? I'll probably be in first gear. We'll be right. So uh, Harry's hot. Here we come. Whatever. If I can actually start my bike, my bike might back on. Oh, it's you. <laughs> telephone track probably the one that goes along the telephones I'm gonna say Harry's hut wasn't built on a telephone track if I were a betting man and I've never been there I don't even know what the hell this place is I'd go that way How you going? How you going? Good. I'm just wondering why you're traveling with a toilet. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm from Canberra and um... <laughs> you need a bigger one then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean... You don't need to use it now? Yeah, if you guys... No, no, I'm pretty it. right now. No, you sure? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm pretty right now. There's a, there's a probably one just down there, so yeah. you're right though. We can leave it strapped up. But uh, yeah, if you're from Canberra, it'd be a lot bigger than that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we made it to Harry's hut. The GoPro stuffed up. Same issue that I had before. It was freezing. The um, GoPro 9, so I popped the 11 in. Anyway, uh, just got to Harry's hut. Um, I'll tell you, just quietly, it looks like Harry's, sort of looks like Harry's shack. What do you think, Mike? Yeah, I just, is this that, is this it? No, this is it. This is the whole thing right here. This is the whole thing right here. This is what we rode 14 hours to come see. Wow. Impressive, eh? Oh, is there a swimming hole there? Yeah. That's, well, it's probably why most people are coming. Yeah. Why, do, why is it all closed off? If I drove all this way, like the last thing I want to do is... Um, stand back and look. Stand back. I mean, I want to get in there and just set up my cot and stuff. Yeah. It's a shame people did graffiti and all that sort of stuff there. There you go. Hey, how are you? All right, in here. Good, Good thanks. Okay. Nice. On the bikes. On yeah. the bikes. Uh, what's that accent? It's like Canadian, is it? No, it's Dutch. Have a good time. No yeah, worries. Thank you. Thanks for the chat. Yeah, yeah, but but, but like, do do we need to look at all this? Yeah, look, this you are here. But I I know I'm at the hut. Yeah, but this is the workman's hut. This is. this is the kitchen. And I'm in the sun. I'm not trying Man, to. Man, this is this is historic. Look how this is 1957. I, I understand that, but I'm trying. The, the What's Mount Rushmore? The channel's called Inhardinated. Not it's called. It's not called Sunburn. I'm just saying, like, I don't want to get sunburned. I want to get hard. I don't. This need... is like ancient European history, 1957. There it is. Look. That is, that is so welcome to some hut somewhere. Yeah, this is nonsense. People coming up here. You know what? Putting people's names on there. Tiffany, and you know, Tiffany wouldn't have put her name there. Someone else would have put Tiffany's name there. Someone's that's put Tiffany's phone number. No, nah, that's nonsense. 8675309. Oh, 
Jenny, Jenny, who can I turn to? What do you think about that? Put that on my channel. Mal, what do you think? Yeah, that's good. All right, the people are getting quite upset actually about us being yeah. here filming and stuff. Um, I've never seen anyone be so overwhelmed, underwhelmed with anything I've taken. I can't, but the problem is I can't, no, but I can't actually see into the, into the thing. That's the problem. Like I'd like to actually see the hut. I'm gonna let him do his thing. Why would you come all the way out here and seriously scratch your name in there? Freaking hell. Why would you do that? That's not right. Anyway, so that's obviously why they closed it up. They closed it up because people come out here and they destroy it. And so now normal, not, well, whatever, typical, the typical visitor that isn't gonna mess it up can't go in there and have a look. Anyway, I wonder if they get floods. Do they get, oh, you would flood here, wouldn't you? Yeah, it would flood. I'm just thinking of the stilts. You'd probably, oh, maybe airflow as well. It'd be cooler, maybe? I don't know. Floods, maybe. Anyway, Harry's hut. Made it. Oh, you're, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're right. No, no, it's facing that way. It's not facing you, don't worry. Uh, come over here and have a look. Oh, you actually, you're going for a swim. He's going for a swim. No, I'm doing it. I'm going in. He's like, oh, we're going to be here for five minutes. You don't have time to take all your gear off. Well, you got time to take your gear off, old man speed. I'm talking about getting hard, man. I'm not going to sit out here and get sunburned and not get in that water. <sighs> I was actually just going to dump what little bit of water I have left on my head so I could get a bogan shot. Probably make me, uh, probably double my YouTube count. All right, here we go. Harry's hut dip. Wow. I had to deliver food to him. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's in there for a little while. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's still got a sign out on the, to the, uh, the boat ramp that says his name on the boat ramp. Woo! Can't believe the color of the water. Yeah. That's amazing. That's the blood from the bull don't have that in America. <laughs> no, they don't. Does it stain? Like, am I going to come out be... You'll come out red. Yeah, nice. Easy way to tan, right? Take some underwater footage and see if there's any bull sharks running around. Bull sharks? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, this is a block, is it? Hey, so here's the story of Bull Shark. Oh, wow. The Brisbane River. We had to stay on a lot. Oh, yeah, so there's a guy that just like this documentary. Oh. Right? It tastes like tea, Mike. It's beautiful, yeah. I can't, I'm just going to keep drinking until I pop. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, hey. So how long have you been over here for now? Uh, I've been in Australia 15 years. Oh, okay. Your voice hasn't changed much. Yeah. Thanks. Hey? Yeah, thanks. Yeah. I'll, I'll get the uh, the banana banana bread and some tomato sauce. How about that? Yeah. I think you might. I, yeah, I that's right. I thought this morning how to say Fraser Island. Yeah, Fra Fraser. Fraser. I was calling it Fraser. Fraser. Nah. Like Fra a TV show. Yeah, Fra yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, Fraser, yeah. <laughs> Give another hit. Fraser. Fra no, no. Fraser. Fraser Island. Yeah, Fraser. Yeah, even more. Fraser. Even more. Fraser. Yeah! Oh man. So let's say, so Mal reckons, so you reckon you you fished here what, probably 37 years ago? No, it's and probably, <laughs> eight, probably 10 years ago and I cast out that way and cast straight into that tree. So guys, just, if you, if you come here and you find Mal's lure up in that tree, I will shout out your name in a video, just yeah. just quietly. Yeah. Hey guys. So yeah. Or what we could do is I could scamper up out on that branch, stand on that branch, just and just I could probably have a look through there and find it. You could, or we could get going. Get going. Yeah, it's another swimming hole. <sighs> this swimming hole's good, but there's a better yeah, one. Whatever. All right. Well, whatever. Let's go. I'm gonna drive wet. I'm gonna put my gear I'm back just, on. I'm just gonna put my thongs on. And... Is it far from here? Yeah, far enough to put clothes on. Yeah. 
Well, far enough. Try and dry out a little bit more. Are you, well, you know what you could do like I do. I just take my clothes off. I walk around in the buff because I'm hard like that, and just whatever. I don't even need. I don't need clothes to this, go in the swimming uh, hole. Effectively becomes an air conditioning system now. Yeah. I should probably take my bag. I bet you all my shit's gone. My bike's gone. Everything's gone. Toilet's gone. Toilet's gone. So, Man, could you imagine if someone nicked the toilet? You know what would be more insulting? Someone actually just took a dump in it. Are you actually putting your pants on? Yeah, because now that's wet. It's cool. You're gonna, your ass is going to get itchy. No, mine, because they'll stand up. He's going to have, you know what he's going to have? He doesn't understand. He's going to have swamp butt. He's going to have swamp ass. Yeah, Canadian knows everything. Swamp butt. Just watch. We're going to pull over. He's going to be like, he's going to be like, oh, I'm riding really fast, but you know what? I got to stop every couple minutes to scratch my ass. I got swamp butt. He wouldn't say it like that because that's a southern accent. He'd be like, hey, mate, I got to pull over here. I got swamp butt, mate. At Fra Fraser Island swamp butt. Hey, that's what he'd say. He'd say literally just like that. Actually, I dubbed his voice in. That wasn't me talking. That was him talking. So... Go get changed over here. I'm not putting my wet clothes back on though. You know why? Because I'm smart. I'm hard. When you're hard and you're smart, you put on dry clothes. So I'm just putting my stuff back on. And um, do you know why I'm not talking to anybody? Because Mal left. Do you know why Mal left? Can you hear his bike? No, you know why? Because he left. Because Mal leaves. He's like, hey, look at me. I don't need to put anything on. And I just ride away. Well, all right, fine, later. He literally said, I will see you back at Bow Desert. And you know what? I guess the joke is on me because I was going to sneak my GPS in because he's like, no GPS is on my rides. I was gonna sneak it in, but I actually sent it away. I don't have it. I don't have it here. So, anyway, put all my gear back on. 45 minutes later, we'll be ready to go. Ride to Bow Desert. Okay. My cornering's better though. Cornering is way better. Oh, I got this crappy thing and I can't turn it because it's a piece of crap. Damn it. Put all my gear on, put all my stuff, put my little bag on, my little fanny pack on, my little bum bag. Okay, Mikey, put your bum bag on, Mikey. Put your bum bag on, buddy. Where's your bum bag, Mikey? Huh? You got your bum bag? Put your bum bag on, Mikey. He actually, seriously, he left. I can hear his bike. It's so far away. He's probably freaking 10 kilometers away. Let's go for a ride and I'll leave you here. You know what I'm gonna do next time? The joke's gonna be on him because I'm gonna take his freaking key and I'm gonna ride off. We'll see how funny it is when he's sitting there with no key. He can't get his bike started. See how fast he is in. Hey, look how fast I am. Whatever, let's get out of here. I'm not gonna let it get to me. It's not, it's not what it's about. It's about getting hard. That water was amazing. Oh man, so good. So freaking good. Harry Spring Hut, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Queensland. 150,000 degrees. All right, let's do it. Let's get out of here. Let's turn my bike on if I can. Let's do it, Harry's Hut. 
it's actually not so bad if you stop and you jump in the swimming hole every once in a while. It cools you down. The only problem is you got to put all your gear back on. Well, I suppose you don't have to. But then you might die. Well, only if you lay your bike down 17 times, like me, this morning. I think it was 18, actually. I'll probably get hit in the face by one of these branches and knocked on the ground. Ghost ride my bike off the cliff or something. Oh, did you see that vine? You can grab those vines. Apparently in Queensland, you can grab those vines and you can use them like a tire swing. You can just swing straight out into the, uh, yeah, into the open. Pretty cool. Just got hit in the face, that's good. You hit these little, like rain, foresty areas and the temperature drops like, I don't know, five degrees or something. Yeah, here we go. It's a lo lot cooler in here. I mean, why would you stop at the river to swim when you can just stop in here? Enjoy the, um, you know, the sound of the, what are, what are those things? C cicadas? Cicadas? Just enjoy the, um, the, the insects in their natural habitat. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. through here so fast you need to put your trust in the tires first of all it's important that you get the right body position when you come into the corner and then you push your your bottom into the turn and then you go wide like I just did because you're talking and filming and then that's what happens okay try it now Try that now. You go, that's the way. See how you came out of that corner? Yeah, much better that time, huh? Hey, so is it normal, like if you talk to yourself in your head, that you talk to yourself in your head with like an accent? Like I just did, because that's how normally I, I talk to myself.
Is this the way you want to pull off? You bet. Huh? You bet. What? You bet you home. No. I had a beep, beep, beep. My bike's off. Can't honk the horn when the bike's off. So it wouldn't have been me. No, back there. No, nah, bike's off, look. Okay. All right. Uh, I don't know which, where. It, I kind of have an idea, but not really. So we're just gonna go to this next town, get to a town that I know, and then I know, I'll know where to go. And to me, that just makes perfect sense. Yeah, we don't really know where the world is gonna go. I know everybody knows that you can't stop for too long. Got to keep going. Don't really know where the world is gonna go. I know everybody knows that you can't stop for too long. Got to keep going. Don't really know where the world is gonna go. I know everybody knows that you can't stop for too long. Got to keep going. Don't really know where the world is gonna go. I know everybody.
Wow, this is amazing. Temperature dropped eight degrees. Holy cow. Look at this tree, look behind you. That's good. That's really good. Yep, you know what, Mal? I'm gonna take back most of what I said about you. Yeah. Unreal. Unreal. I mean, Australia, seriously, as far as countries, I mean, far out. Look at this. What's that, thousand years old? What, what is that tree? Harry's hut was 70 years old. This tree's probably a thousand. And look, look how small it is. Yeah. Wow. Air condition. So nice. Oh, it's quiet. That's awesome. Seriously, it's so much cooler. It's unreal. It spins me, man, don't worry. It's, a, it's amazing too, you walk 10 steps out of the under, whatever, the trees and it's, you can feel a little bit more heat. Yeah. And then you go back inside and it's cool. Wow. Unreal, absolutely unreal. So we, we, we've got a little swimming hole right next to us, but we're actually gonna take a walk down. Apparently there's a bigger swimming hole here. I mean, this place is freaking unreal. Look at the, the steps, like Indiana Jones. Only, you know what? It's a Porta John. I think it's a long drop. <laughs> you beaut. You know where I'll be later. Not there, because I have a toilet. See, that's the thing is I don't, I pack it in, I pack it out. Not a lot of people do, I do. I'm a responsible, uh, what do you call a responsible dog owner? Maybe I'm a responsible camp camper person. Anyway, so not me. You won't find me up there unless I take the long drop up there. I go inside, I open the stall, I put the long drop down, I do my thing, and then I take it out with me. Because I'm respectful. I respect what other people are doing. Just saying. And you know what? Hey, you know what? Listen. Man, I love it. That is freaking awesome. Oh, there's a rope swing. Yep. Time to get hard, folks. Woo, getting hard with old man speed. This is how we do it in Queensland. How good is this?
Oh man, that is so nice. Incredible. Well, we might have a problem. We got thunder, we got black clouds, there was a gust front that just came through. We're starting to tarp up. Mal's gonna tarp up his bike in just a sec. We think we are in for, as what you'd expect, it's a rainforest. We're in for some rain, we think. And it is probably gonna piss down. You know what else is a, a big worry? Mao doesn't seem to worry or think it's a big deal. Those things, those leaf things, they will kill you, okay? They will come down like a sword out of the heavens and split you in half. I'm just saying, I offered for Mao to move his tent. He said, mate, this is a, 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 yayam, a yayamaya tent. And he reckons that the ayayamaya which is an, uh, an anagram that you can say both directions. Ayamaya. Ayamaya, he Power reckons. They make that intentionally with that th hood thing to stop those branches. So he's gonna just sit quietly, calmly, eat his dinner. He's not gonna worry about moving the tent. What's for dinner, by the way? I'm just put that storm prepping on some potato chips. Mm. We need the energy. Hey, you know what? You know what? These are gluten free and I feel better. Do you? I feel better already. Yeah. You yeah, look no gluten. You look better. Yeah. You look more energized. I feel less bloated. Hey, have you know there's that TV show called Storm Preppers or something or mm. Prepper Doomsday? What if we, hear me out, we just load up the bikes bare bones. We dr we like check the map because we normally set your radar and stuff up so we know where yeah. the storms are happening. Yeah. We just ride to wherever the biggest, biggest storm, storm in Australia down. is, and we just and then we set up our tent and just fucking and just sit here and enjoy dinner. Ah, oh, so don't chase the storms to view them. Storm chase the storms to sit in them. Yes. Camp, camp in the storm. Yes. Wow, great concept. So that's the new in Hardenated Part Two is we're gonna find the biggest storms in Australia. We're gonna ride there. Camp in it. Camp it. Camp it out. Biggest wind. Everything. Well, so, I don't care. Cyclone, we'll, we'll put the bikes on a boat and we will actually go out into the, well, yeah, it doesn't have to be in the ocean, but we'll go out there and we'll just, yeah. The bikes, the, the tents, everything. Yeah. For dinner, I am having chips. Walnuts, hold on. Mal just, he was telling me about that. What is it called? A A M S M A M S R. A A M S M R. Oh, this is the breeze. Yeah, I know. This one. Here comes the storm. Cheese. Ladies and gentlemen. But the sun's still out. Carrot. Tuna. It is ha it's gonna happen. I'm gonna click this back on in a few minutes. I'm gonna let it hit really hot. And the stuff is falling out of the sky. I'm gonna let the storm hit and I'm gonna flip this back on. It's gonna be freaking cool. It is good. It's gonna be cool. It's coming. It's bloody coming. It's coming. You didn't check the weather, did you? Right. I, I wouldn't have. Yeah. Is that why no one's here? Is nobody <laughs> here because I there's a freaking storm coming? Do that river flood? It does flood. Yeah, we're stuck here. That's the only way out, this river crossing. That's the only way out, this river, that river crossing. 
Because I was wondering why there's no one in here. And how many four-wheel drives did we see, see going out when we were coming in? Yeah, heaps. There was like a queue at the first river. There was three or four guys there coming, going out. Were they waving at us or were they... One guy, oh. wa one guy was. Stop. And the ranger, I noticed, was like he was putting up the... Like closing the thing, but you. That, but that's why I thought you took that back road, just because you didn't want to deal with the traffic and stuff. That doesn't sound good. No. Whatever. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get some chow. I don't care. I'm not. I'm not afraid. Yeah, it's rain. Great. So what? Let's see. I'm doing the joke, not you. When you do your channel, you do your joke. I do the joke. This is where the problem is. All right. Hey Mal. I think you just stole it. <laughs> hey Mal. Like the glasses. Okay. You see that palm tree? Look how straight this palm tree is. Yeah. If you shimmy up that palm tree, and you, because you got, just kick off your, whatever your thongs. Yeah. I'll give you uh, two chips and a piece of cheese. But I I'm gonna be but, able to get my feet off the ground. Yeah, yeah, you would. You have to, you have to cup it. You like cup your feet like that around the tree. You cup it, and then you put your arms around the tree like you're gonna give, um, give someone a bear hug. I don't think I could do it. Yes, you can, mate. If this is about, hey, remember the time that I dropped my bike in front of you, like I don't know, seven or eight times, mm. and then you would, you would sit there and watch me pick my bike up, even though you mm. could get off and help me, and then I was like, I can't, Mal. It's too heavy, and you're like, Mike, you don't. What did you say about saying can't? Never say can't. Mm. And what did I do? I picked it up. Oh, I was more referencing to the way you said. Can't. Right? Never say can't. <laughs> I was referring. I was more referencing. The, the, it the, wasn't actually never say. It was just, hey, Mike, you shouldn't really say can't the way you were saying it. So I can't do that. The yep. way you were doing it sounded yep. quite inappropriate. That's what I was alluding to. Do you know that kookaburra is a meat eater? Is it? They kill birds. Will it eat this they fish? They eat other birds. Look that up, folks. Confirm it on my channel. Anyway, um, I give us a few minutes to finish dinner. Mal's going to climb up there for two chips and a piece of cheese. Stay for a while 